video, we're going to start off where we left off by styling our HTML for our Google homepage. So you can see this is what we want it to look like in the end, and this is how it looks now. So we're going to start by styling these lists and getting rid of the bullet points. There's three main types of ways you can style your CSS, or actually three types. The first is what we call inline styles. So if we want to style this, this list here and take away the bullet points, we'll go and reference the list directly in the HTML. Say style equals list style and say none, meaning we don't want diamonds or bullets or anything there. So we can do that, but if we want to also take the bullet points away from here, we would have to manually go and copy paste or type it in in these unordered lists as well. So it's a lot of extra work. There's actually better methods of styling the page than writing inline here. Let me just undo this real quick. We can also in the head tag include a style tag here to include all of the styles for the page. So we want to reference all three unordered lists at the same time. We can just say list style and none. And it, it references all of our lists, unordered lists at the same time and it removes the bullet points. But you can see, especially when you start to write more styles here, that this can be very cumbersome and get very long very quickly. If, let's say we had, oops, I'm just copying these, pasting these. Let's say, you know, you have 50 of these on top of each other. Then it, it's very difficult to read and to navigate. And that's why the recommended method of styling is to use external style sheets. So the external style sheet, you'll link in the header with a link tag. So you just do link, um, just call it a style sheet, and then you have to put a reference to your page. So because it's in the same folder, we're going to create a main.css file. Now this is going to tell the browser when it loads up the HTML page, it's going to see that we have this link to a style sheet. It's going to go look for this style sheet and use these styles when it renders the page. So let's create a file dot called main.css. Go to new file. I know you can't see the edge of my screen here, but just type in main.css, press enter. And now we can include all of our styles on this page. So let's use the same example we did before. Style our unordered list, get rid of the bullet points. List style is none. And we might have to refresh here. main.css. Oh, I didn't save the index. Okay. So now if I refresh, there we go. So it can reference all of them at the same time, or we can reference individual lists. 